Uh oh. You just throw on the rest of them? Joker tendencies. <sighs> Jelly. That's a cheap ring. That's the thought that counts. They were really in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This week's episode of Two Freckle Friends is brought to you by the birds. And I'm not talking Alfred Hitchcock. I'm talking all of the bird lovers out there. The ones who see birds, hear birds, might even flip the bird. <laughs> Actually a bird's Barbie doll crouching over and all those crows are like trying to peck at her and she's running to go into that telephone booth. Oh, look at the tie. <laughs> Hold on. Crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Allie. <laughs> we appreciate you tuning in to a very spooktacular, spanking new episode of Two Freckled Friends. If you are like Brooke, running from the birds, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckle Friends. This week, I'm very intrigued. People either really love it or really don't care for it, but the lead actor's father was indeed one of a kind. <laughs> Brooke, why don't you tell the good folks out there what we're watching this week? Today, we are watching Dimension Films 1994 original, The Crow. I have not seen this movie since I was probably about six years old. I know they've made a new sequel for it. Unfortunately, the tomatoes stayed really rotten on that one. My parents wouldn't let me watch it. They said it was too dark. Not really a movie that you would see on rotation. So I'm actually really, really excited to see this. If you're brand new to our channel, what Brooke and I are going to do is we're going to watch The Crow. Crow. We'll give our own thoughts, and from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. So, without further ado, 1994. It is the one, the only, the Crow. Let's roll it. Here we go. And three, two, one. Yay. People once believed someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. Something so bad happens, a soul can't rest. A crow can bring that soul back to put the wrong things right. It's like a Masonic symbol there. Oh, is that, what's his name? From Ghostbusters? Well, my recent data points to something big on the horizon. That's a big Twinkie. He's always playing a cop. Why is he always playing a cop? <laughs> oh, it's a pumpkin. Hey, Sarge. Shelly Webster and Eric Draven. Wedding was tomorrow night. Who the fuck gets married on Halloween anyhow? I would. Actually, that would be a bomb wedding. Is this the victim? To me, Earhart. We found a detective and you missed it. I can see why they took away your gold sheet here. Shelly? Stand back, kid. Where's Eric? Just don't worry about it. Are you just gonna let a kid run up on somebody like that? Mm. This is definitely the 90s. You can't do that today. You, Sarah? Yeah. Your sister? She's gonna be okay. She's not my sister. Shelly just takes care of me. Do we need to see guardianship papers? You lied to her about Eric. I had to. And you're lying to me about Shelly. She's gonna die, isn't she? No. Well, that's, that's okay. This is giving New York undercover. Why does she have holes in her fishnets? She's like 13. They give her fishnet stocking? Oh, Shelly died. Where'd she get money for fresh flowers? No disrespect. You'd better be able to pay for that. <laughs> Did Eric die? Oh. Later. Later, bro. What are you, like the night watchman? That bird is huge. Okay, so who are her new guardians? The skateboard. She like Avril.
I don't like the way he put ketchup on that. <laughs> you gotta put the mustard underneath first. Thank you! Yeah, I only put ketchup on mine when I was a child. To Sarah Monster. Who are her parents? Steer that thing on a wet street. Pure talent. You hungry? You buying? No onions. They make you fart big time. Growing up definitely too quickie. Smoking that cigarette around that child like that. Oh, he killed Chris Rock. But the pinball machines are worth the money. Oh, they're trying to steal the quarters. Boobity bloobity blah. So it's a zombie? Why y'all do this man like that? <laughs> what? Too many parallels with Batman. But Batman was a bat. Is he a crow or is this crow like his reincarnation fairy godfather? Bad people out in the street tonight. Whoa! Guess he's on the clock now. Vicky, call it in for me. He can't perpetrate when uh, there's nothing to perpetrate. Well, exactly. Thank you. Thank <laughs> I, you. Mean, I didn't want to say nothing. I mean, it was four white anything. dudes in a car. It came out so naturally. <laughs> why is he climbing? But why did he take his clothes off? He's cold. Who gave Brandon Lee pneumonia? He was kind of fine, wasn't he? Bam. Back to the scene of the crime. style but why them though right why here's the devil's night my new favorite holiday Bye, man. would you motor city motherfucker it's so cold in the d kind of looks like Freddie Prince. Freddie Prince Jr. He's putting the face on to mirror the mask. Why the Joker put on face paint? Honestly, he's using the same face paint that Sting's using. My favorite wrestler. And the next thing you know, Sting's up in the rafters and he's dressed up uh, similar to the crow was. Painting his face black, dropping from the ceiling. Hey, hey! Oh, it's okay! Sting. All right! It's Sting! Anywhere, yes. anytime he wants! He hit the crow right! He dropped the bat! So the cat is still there. You should be happy about that. And clean! If this ain't 90s, I don't know what is. I'm so confused how he had this moment of realization within the last 30 minutes. Oh, what is this, Tintail blood stain that's on here? I'll give you 50 bucks. I hate charity. 50 bucks in Detroit in the 90s? Mm. Throne dome. Child molesting sacrifice. Oh, shit. Closes up for you real good, massa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Sit on it and twirl, you dirty scum. <laughs> this is definitely 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this funny to me? I feel horrible that I'm laughing. <laughs> he does have the Joker face, though. Like the laugh lines and everything. You can call me Joker. I'm a lot happier. The fuck you all painted up with crackhead, huh? Why you be a crackhead because he got face paint? What time is it? It's five o'clock. Did I miss a five o'clock free crack giveaway? No. We get crack at the end? Halloween ain't till manana. He just ate that. I'm on a racket. She tell me a story. Oh, he talks. He can talk. <laughs> That's right, fool. A man and a woman in law a year ago. Listen. 
She'll remember. But his breath is terrible. You definitely need some Tic Tacs or something, because your breath stinks. Yeah, Halloween, yeah. Some dude, some bitch, man. Her name was Shelly. Oh, this spit on me! You gonna have to learn to respect me. You raped her. I shanked her pink ass and she loved it. I watched this? Now I know why I didn't watch this. Now don't get me wrong, we were watching a lot of shit in the 90s. Yeah, <laughs> this is a lot. You listen, you little bitch. You hang up on me again, I'll cut you like a fish, understand? Two bodies slay. We never miss. Okay, this is definitely the grunge scene. Anytime you see white women with those things. <laughs> Arcade game spelled down went boom. It's that man with the big head. Oh no, that's Candyman. Be my victim. You're on for tomorrow night. What in the world is this? You're thinking about the past. I hate shit like this where it's like, we're gonna be naked for the sake of being naked. It adds nothing to the scene. Allie, this is Miramax. Do you need to be reminded who uh, yeah, yeah, was- Yeah, 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 Harvey. We do not speak his name. Is she asleep? What? I think we broke her. Why do we see random titty? This guy is in one of my favorite movies of all time. You've been sheltering us, Lost Lady Marion. The thieves, you imbecile. My lady. Where is the man she got from regular old titties? <laughs> man, she got some sloppy titties. <laughs> oh, Lordy! The titties! Oh, I just realized that she had titties. The flower had titties. Why is this little girl out late by herself? Ain't no way I could have rented this from the video store Roses. Ain't no way. Who are her guardians? <laughs> Told you to stay out of here. I'm not gonna be home till right later, huh, darling? Go play with your dolls or something. I don't have any dolls. Dolls cost money. Some food, huh? Somebody already bought me dinner. Act hungry and take the money. Do we need a trainer early? This crow is flying all over Detroit, like looking for the next. What is going on? <laughs> We're closed! But why is he going to the pawnbroker? I heard a tap as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. It is! Is that that girl the Poe? It's the Raven! You owe me a fucking new door! You owe me a shut the fuck up! I'm looking for something in an engagement ring. You're looking for a coroner. Oh shit. Oh. He got that Neo treatment? Mr. Gideon. Who? I'm not paying attention. <laughs> a gold engagement Ooh. ring. Yes. Upon <laughs> here a year ago. Tinti. Who just got got. He confided in me before he ran out of breath. Oh my god! Tin Tin. One of T Bird's little helpers. Don't any of your street demons have real grown up names? You're a beat cop now. Oh, what the hell? What they got Ernie doing this role for? All Ernie doing is smoking cigs and not solving cases. I don't want my black cops like that. Look at that bull legged motherfucker. <laughs> I made him walk like that. Oh, oh. You just throwing the rest of them? Joker tendencies. Jelly. That's a cheap ring. That's the thought that counts. They were really in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're gonna tell me where to find the rest of Tim Tim's little party pal. They all hang out at the pit. Fun boy, he lives here upstairs, all right? Tell the rest of them that death is coming tonight. On the anniversary and getting payback. Tell them Eric Draven sends his regards. You're nothing but street greets here. Is that gasoline I smell? It took a while, but I got it. Now that's a 90s action scene for that ass. Your mom technically off right now. Way off. Police! Don't move. I thought the police always said freeze. When I said don't move, Snow White, you move, you're dead. I cannot unsee black woman bonnet. All these bitches walking around with they fake asses and shit, and I would go in on y'all motherfuckers if I wasn't one. Shoot, if you will, Officer Albrecht. 
You don't remember me. Do you remember Shelly Webster? Is there ever sunlight? Hell, even Blade had fucking sunlight. Move. Back off! Do you know someone named T-Bird? Shouldn't have played with knives. The guy that murdered Tim. Why does he talk like he's trying to speak in Shakespearean? They're all dead. They just don't know it yet. Do it, man! So you gonna let that man run and you gonna let the looters loot, Ernie. Is Ernie failing us or is the system failing Ernie? How many people do you think are actually paying to park over there? So I pay I'm going to my Next week he's giving when me when I get to the toe place. Just Not get my to no car off the car off practice. Oh. No ass getting towed. Vampire hairs, vampire chair, you should like this. Is that cocaine? Your energies are lining against you. Is that an eyeball? Yep. Oh, how much in coke is that? <laughs> That's where your mind goes. In these inflationary times, yes. Gideon's pawn shop just burned down. Nobody cleared this little event with me. I got trouble. One of my crew got himself perished. Stuck his blades in all his major organs. Oh my God. Working for me tomorrow night. Why Gideon's burned down? Call it my need to know. As someone who loves the 90s, this is going to be rough. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckle Friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash Two Freckle Friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. Go, oh, you creep! <laughs> Dickhead. Car was right there. What are you supposed to be? A clown or something? Sometimes. Who wrote this script? I wish the rain would stop just once. Can't rain all the time. Eric? Don't thank me. Double homicide a year ago. No convictions. Shelly Webster and her rock and roll boyfriend are great. You're gonna wind up working a school crosswalk. That's the most honest thing someone said all day. You didn't get that file from me, okay? Okay, so she's shooting up upstairs. Doesn't care what's going on with her daughter. It's a big fucking bird up there. Come here, bird, bird. Here, bird, 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 Here, fun boy. You nearly gave me a fucking heart attack. Get your bird and leave. Take your shot, fun boy. Christ. Jesus Christ walks into a hotel. <laughs> this woman, she's just trying to enjoy her heroin, y'all. Don't you ever fucking die? Time to go, time to go, time to go. <laughs> Bitch, why are you crying over him? Yeah, wash yourself off. <laughs> Look. Mother is the name for God on the lips and hearts of all children. Morphine is bad for you. Ooh, he's squeezing it out of her. Ooh, that's clever. <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter is out there on the streets waiting for you. Look at her titties bouncing. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm not. All right. You burn yourself playing with matches? Hey, hey, hon. Hey, good night. Stay put. Right there. Uh. Here's biggest devil's night conflagration. So you spent this whole time face painting the guy instead of doing actual fucking police work. <laughs> Freeze! I saw your body, man. You died. You got buried. Just like a man with that fridge. Ghosts. Zombie. I need you to tell me what happened to us. Six stories, swan dive out of a window. Beaten and raped. Died at the hospital. Don't touch me! 
All right, Brandon, no disrespect. That really wasn't that great acting wise. Boy. <laughs> I hope you're resting peacefully though. Let me keep it real. I saw her through your eyes. You stayed with her the whole time. <laughs> I'm happy you said it. This man is not doing any police work, <laughs> but has the basketball on the couch with a white t-shirt. Stop. Please stop. You shouldn't smoke these. They'll kill you. I'm sorry as hell for what happened to you and your girlfriend. Yeah. Jumped out a fourth floor window like he had wings. He had a bird with a pea bird that death was on its way, whatever the fuck that means. He said his name was Eric Graven. Eric the raven uh -huh, uh -huh. sure you ain't making all of this up just to save your own ass why would i blow up my own pawn shop numb nuts boy and his bird why you kill him why waste the bullets fun boy said he saw a black bird too tears can cut i'm wondering why Be quick. Is this still the same day? Uh-oh. You about to get God. Drive. Ah! 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 You hit my car! Ah! You use you to tint him. You trying to do a car chase in a Geo Metro? <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. He lived? No way! What, in the nine lives? We needed to put some fear into that little lady. Go along with our tenant relocation program. Idiot boyfriend shows up. Cluster fuck. Why? What do you want? Speak! Did you send us these complaints? Oh, I knew I knew you. It's you ain't you. There ain't no coming back! Mmm, <laughs> that sucks. Well, that's a crying shame. <laughs> We finally got Halloween now. Devil's Night meant annual plague of arson. Her druggy mama making breakfast. I don't trust your hands. Like them up or over. I would like them hard. I damn sure wouldn't trust you with a runny yolk. So what did you take to become mother of the year? Someone kind of woke me up. Oh, forget it. I never was too good at this mommy shit. Oh, crazy, mom. Yeah, don't throw out the edge. I'm broke, bitch. It's the third hit in your hood in 24 hours. Why do you have time to spy on fucking my territory? Vigilante killer knocking off scumbags left and right. Then you steal one of my case files from homicide. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your suspension. Kind of reminds me of Sean on Boy Meets World. Living on the edge, babe. If Sean was older, but with crater face. <laughs> That is a very clean white It yes, sure is clean. I miss you. I'm Shelly. I get so lonely all by myself. Do you care? And his blood right to his fucking car. What the fuck are we watching? See the grave? Empty. Three out of four. Working his way back to the speed freak. They have all arrived. When someone's dead, they can't come back, can they? Are you referring to anyone in particular? You seem to. Those pickled eggs are scaring me. Is that what those are? <laughs> <laughs> He playing the same chords Homeboy plays in Bring It On when Torrance spends the night at the house. What is happening? <laughs> Seems our friend t bird won't be joining us this evening. Kind of a slight case of death. Gentlemen! Ah! Oh, you're him, huh? The Avenger. Just want him. Oh, ah! well, you can have him. He's gone. That sucks. Wow. Oh, she wrote. 
Move and we shoot. Did he just dance off stage? Holy shit. The cinematography is horrendous. The late great Eric Draven. The crow is his link, living in the realm of the dead. Kill the crow, destroy the man. She'd rather sleep in the graveyard than at home. Safest place in the world to be. I knew you'd come here. You didn't say goodbye. Mm -hmm. Just gonna have to forgive me for that. You're never coming back. I gave this to Shelly once. I think she'd like you to have it. This way you'll always remember her. I'll never take it off. She was impacted by that night too, you know what I mean? Bye. Oh, I hope they don't nab that girl. Oh God, I could write it my fucking self. Want some sort of souvenir there from your pal? I'll just keep it for good luck. <laughs> Give me the girl, and I'll let you walk out of here. Why don't you just give me a minute to think about that, huh? Nah, fuck it. Ah, fuck. Ah! Ghost, you bleed just fine. Bye-bye, Ernie. Ernie wants to be a cop now? They've taken Sarah. You see in front, when they run out of ammo, all the rest. You're bleeding all over the place. We're invincible. I'm not anymore. Take that. Are we surprised though? I hate to say it. You know, she just had sunny side up eggs and now you're giving her PTSD again? There's not more time for us. Ernie, can you call for backup, bro? Can we radio hit <laughs> somebody? You get shot and get a pension. Can we do something? Do something. Do it yourself. No! Fucking shit from Mag 7. I always been lucky with one eyed jacks. Oh, yeah. I'm quitting as of now. You ain't living. Ain't nobody calling a fucking ambulance. Stay with him until help comes. We keep going home. I'm okay. <laughs> People die, but real love is forever. Let's give it a freckle scar! Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give the crow its official freckle score. <laughs> The concept had potential. The casting wasn't horrible. Very disappointed. I think the death of Brandon Lee drove up the hype for this. I felt if Brandon was alive, this may not have gotten quote unquote success. If you did not get Brooke and I's vibe by the time you got to this section, there's nothing I could really do for you. We hope he and Bruce are resting peacefully. 90s cult classic, just not for us. So my freckle score for the crow is going to be 1.5 out of five freckles it is utter gutter i 
cannot believe it's not butter trash. Drop your thoughts in the comments if you agree or disagree with our scores. And while you're down there, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. I should never have laughed as much as I laughed during a film like this. That's the telltale sign that's going down. Because we do not know when we will die, we get to think of life as an inexhaustible well. And yet everything happens only a certain number of times, and a very small number, really. How many more times will you watch the full moon rise? Perhaps 20, and yet it all seems limitless. This is the best role that I've had the opportunity to get my hands on in a film.